This workout's tough. This is one that separates the men from the boys. No need to go heavy here. It's an endurance muscle building routine. So I've got two 10 pound plates on the bar. The bar alone is 46 pounds. So you wanna move quick. Oh man, get as many rounds in as you can. Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching, enjoying a cup of black coffee this morning. Cheers. Ah, delicioso, no? Ah, ooh, so tasty. So we had some fun on the last vlog. 20 things you didn't know about me. Five of those were fake. We're going to go through those now. Thank you for participating. Here we go. I am bilingual. I speak both English and Spanish. You know, Espanol. That is fake. I do not speak Spanish, <laughs> although I try. Um, I've been with my wife 17, going on 18 years. She is Hispanic. She's from Ecuador. So by now I should speak fluent and I don't. It's frustrating. I live in Miami and uh, it's, it's a Spanish town. Uh, somehow, some way I get by, but I, 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 I wish I did speak Spanish. My little one is uh, more bilingual than, than, than I and she is five years old. So I, I know a little more now than I did before my daughter was born because as she's learning, I'm picking up things, but it, it's still bad, man. Hola, como estas? It's not good, you know, my Espanol is not good. <laughs> uh, I blame my wife for not wanting to teach me. She says, I don't want to learn. I, I would like to learn, but you know, learning another language, it's, you know, that's, that's, that's tough. So that is fake. Uh, number two, I love to sing and I sing in my church choir. I uh, can't sing. That is fake. And uh, I don't sing. You don't ever want to hear me sing. Um, I would never be standing up with a choir to sing. Uh, that is fake. Number three, I was adopted. That is fake. Both of my parents are my real parents. Uh, number four, I've been arrested four times. That is fake. Uh, most of you got that right, which tells me that you can trust this face and I don't come off like a criminal. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, never been arrested. No issues with the law. Let's keep it that way. Number five, I am an only child. That is fake. I have a younger brother, four years younger. So it is just him and I. That is fake. So if you got those, well done. Some of you got a few other things that uh, are actually true that, uh, let's go through those. I was in special education. That, that is true. Uh, I was ter terrible at math. That is very true. Um, I struggled with math. Math, I hate math. And just working with numbers, my, my brain would shut down. Um, so that was no fun. Um, throughout my younger days as a student, I was in special ed. Looking back now, it was a good thing. Um, I got the attention I needed. Rather than being in a class with 40, 50 kids, I was in a smaller class with 8 to 12 kids and um, got the one-on-one -on -one attention from my teacher, which really helped me excel and advance because once I did go into mainstream classes, I found myself doing a lot better than all the other kids. I was reading better. I was uh, placing better grades. Um, I did very well. Um, and I think it's because I was in those classes. So yeah, I was in special ed and I, I sucked at math. I was a Boy Scout. That is true. Some of you thought that was fake. Uh, I was a Boy Scout for a very short amount of time. I had a buddy who lived down the street. His name was Zachary and he was a Boy Scout and I saw him in his, in his uniform and I thought it was the coolest thing. And I was like, I gotta get me a uniform. Um, so I became a Boy, a boy Scout, uh, really just so I could get the the uniform, I thought it was the coolest thing, you know, with the patches and the little thing, and that's all I really wanted was the uniform. Uh, it didn't last long. Once they gave me a handbook and I had to do this and go here for meetings and, and do all this stuff, and it just seemed like work, <laughs> I was out, man. I just wanted the damn uniform. So I was a Boy Scout, Scout's Honor, for a very short period of time. Uh, actor in a movie, uh, a few of you thought that was fake. That was true. Uh, about uh, two and a half years ago, I answered a casting call here in Miami. I always wanted to try acting, coming from radio and voiceover. I wanted to, I thought I'd be a natural, and I was. I auditioned for a 
independent film, very low budget, first time director, first time writer. Long story short, I they gave me the job on the spot when I auditioned. I starred in the film. Uh, it was a it was a pretty good success. It went to film festivals. I was nominated for best actor. It was my first film. Um, it was something I tried, but a lot of waiting around, a lot of rescheduling, uh, a lot of time passing. So I didn't pursue it, but it was fun. Uh, another one that uh, a few of you thought was fake, five years I gave up on meat and pork. And th that is true. A few years back, way back, uh, when I was on my weight loss journey, trying to find better ways to get healthy and try different things, I gave up on, on red meat and pork for five years. Did I feel any healthier? Did, did I lose a lot of weight? No, not really. I, I don't think it made much difference. Uh, I was still very much overweight. It wasn't until I started to understand nutrition and take a better hand on, on uh, training and, and started to figure things out um, that things started to happen for me. So, But yeah, I did do that for five years and it was torture because I love a good steak and a good burger. You know what I mean? Some pork chops. Another one that was true that I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you guys are like, what? I've never gone fishing. I've never gone fishing in my entire life. Um, so that, that is true. Never done that. So we've got to put that one on the bucket list. And, um, there you go. You guys did good. Real good. Cheers. On my way to the gym, today's active rest and recovery day. So we'll get our 10 minute massage followed by some foam rolling, some core work and cardio. I have uh, a little more than 60 minutes to get it done before I have to train my first client. It's going to be a late night tonight. My last session wraps up around 8.30, so late night. This is my classic barbell complex workout. It's an endurance muscle building routine. Some of the best compound exercises streamed together. Five reps of each, focusing on good form and technique, and moving quick.